Daniel's uh, talking to us from Washington, D.C. today, and he comes from, um, he, he comes from uh, Wikipedia, and he'll give us the next talk here. And so um, I'm going to switch you over to full screen and let you run with it. Ready? Okay, cool. Okay. So um, I'll, I'll also switch to screen share in a moment. I'll just have to set it up. And then uh, we're ready to go. Okay. Um, please keep in mind that there is a small time delay but, uh, while I'm giving the talk. So typically on the order of two or three seconds. So some things that uh, you see or hear may not be as, as they are in real time. Yeah. But otherwise, we should be fine. I have prepared a number of questions that we will start with. And, uh, yeah, then, uh, I also have slides. I will paste in the link directly. Have you distributed the, the link to my slides? Uh, yes. To How people many people have got the links to his questions that I sent out? doesn't look like it permeated more than about half the audience, but about half the audience raised their hands on it. Okay. Should be okay. It's actually one of, of my questions I have for this out. So here we go for screen sharing. <laughs> so far, no. Okay, well, it works on my end. Huh. It works when we tested it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now, you, you now can have see your desktop, desktop. Oh, yes. Maybe I'll, I'll just switch up my video. Can you see my desktop? I can, you see, your, I can see your desktop and, and uh, so, my smiling picture is looking back at me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that <laughs> this means we're connected at least. Okay, okay. I'll start. Okay, so the, now talk, the talk is entirely on Wikipedia. And uh, so uh, basically if you Google anything that you see on uh, my page here, uh, you, you should be led directly to that page. Um, the basic overview of the structure of the talk is I'll give on the order of five minutes of introduction. What is a wiki? What is Wikimedia? What is Wikipedia? How does that work? Five minutes on coverage of taxonomy in general and North American microflora in particular, focusing on the English Wikipedia but showing some examples from other languages too. I'll show some uh, stats. Then we have on the order of five minutes of quality control. Uh, how? Uh, well, how do we actually achieve some quality? How do we measure what we achieve? And how does the, this relate to um, perceptions of quality in the real world? Then, uh, on the order of five minutes on how do we uh, handle disputes, conflicts. Five minutes of buffer for anything and five minutes for discussion. That's the normal thing, but I really would like to encourage you to pose questions as they arise. The whole talk is structured uh, to have interaction. And we will start the interaction by me posing a few questions to you. Um, and uh, I will edit the page containing the questions directly just to demonstrate how editing a wiki works. Uh, so for those of you who have never edited the wiki, um, Wikipedia and many other wikis have an edit button at several places on, on the, the page. I'm showing it here on the top of the page. There's another one here for the section that contains the questions. You just click on it, and a window opens, and you can start typing. So, how many people are in the room, roughly? The, the room is full, but as I mentioned, there is no wireless here. So, they're yeah. not, not going to be able to interact with you um, over the web. Yeah, I know. I understand that. Uh, but still, uh, I would like to know how many people are in the room. About 70. Okay, 70. Um, then, how many have ever edited any Wikipedia page, no matter what language? Looks like about uh, between a third and a half. Okay, let's say 30. Uh, then how many have ever edited any other wiki or made a commit to a public code repository? Any other wiki, not just Wikipedia, or any public code repository? I, I estimate maybe 15. Okay. Then how many are going to give written homework to students next term? <laughs> Looks like a quarter, maybe. Well, it's probably still 15, I would say. Okay. How many have seen questions I've had, uh, had posed? This was half you had already. And then how many are connected to the internet right now? 
Is it just you, Tom? No, or there's, there's uh, three other people that raise their hands, probably through smartphone. Okay, that's good. Because they, they can then interact if they want. So, for instance, they can update my talk if I'm telling something stupid or so. The whole talk is editable. Um, but I'm aware that uh, most of you don't have uh, access. Uh, I, am, I shall uh, transport special greetings to you from Robert Sassata and Gregor Hagedon, who some of you may know. Both are Wikipedians and mycologists, but they couldn't make it to the workshop. Uh, or could they make it here to give the workshop from here? Um, second, I get special greetings to Scott Redhead, who is a Wikipedian and should be in the room and could answer some of your questions, and to Rodham Tullis, uh, who provided very detailed feedback to my questions. If you sometimes hear noise in the background, this is because I'm here in, at the conference when there are still other people around. Um, so I hope you can with that. So let's just save uh, the basic introductory questions, and then uh, start with the introduction of what is actually a wiki and what is Wikipedia. So I have a slide called notes. Oh, by the way, can you read the, the text on the screen, or should I increase the font size a bit? You could increase the font size. It's, it's pretty hard to read. Okay. Um, the details actually don't matter that much, um, but uh, yeah, oh, it's always better if you can read it. That's better. better. Okay, so um, a brief piece of history. Um, so we have the internet, which uh, aims to link computers. We have the web, which aims to link documents. And then the idea of wiki is basically to make those documents on the computers collaboratively editable. There is a related idea of making documents forkable, which is important in the open source uh, movement. And uh, there's also uh, now some technical possibilities to have documents that are both ed collaboratively editable and forkable, uh, which is called the Fed. We won't go into details, uh, just wanted to make all this into perspective. So uh, as I understand, you're planning to um, have a collaboratively editable database uh, about North American uh, microflora. And uh, Wikipedia is amongst the options to consider for uh, handling this. Uh, so let's now switch to what Wikipedia is. And um, before explaining what Wikipedia is, I'll actually show you what Wikimedia is. Um, I'll just open another window because that's, that's better. And um, Wikimedia, you just type in wikipedia.org, you get a it, once the internet goes, you get a, a set of different projects. Uh, and the one that I'm showing here with my mouse is Wikipedia, that's the globe. That's probably the project every one of you uh, knows. But uh, this, uh, or there's no Wikipedia as an organization or so. The organization that runs Wikipedia is the Wikipedia Foundation, which sits and owns the server that Wikipedia runs. And Wikipedia runs in 283 languages at the moment, um, and uh, there are other projects, not just Wikipedia. Uh, so, um, we have Wiktionary, we have Wikicloud, we have Wikibooks, we have Wikisource, we have Wikinews, Wikiversity, Wikispecies, Wikipedia, and the Wikipedia repository, and an incubator to handle, uh, handle uh, test cases. So. Um, all these, uh, most of these exist in uh, different languages, and uh, yeah, and the media wiki is the software on which we can run. Media wiki is the, the wiki that we use to exchange ideas or uh, talk about problems that concern several of the wikis. Uh, and the whole of this, plus all the of editors that contribute to those projects, is Wikimedia or Wikimedia community, and so on. And uh, so if you hear the terms of Wikimedia, that's not a title. It may refer to either the foundation or it may refer to the whole community, and that's it. It makes this the Wikimedia Commons, which is the repository, all the files that you see on basically, not entirely all of them, but uh, most of the you see in Wikipedia articles, they actually are listed on Wikimedia Commons. And uh, yeah, they're kind of uh, transcluded. Um, so, uh, and then uh, Wikipedia, I'll just go uh, and give a brief description. 
uh, homepage. Uh, I'm sure you have seen that. All of you know that yesterday, half four million articles uh, for the English Wikipedia phone. All Wikipedias together, we have your three million articles. And uh, each Wikipedia page comes with uh, so that we have a content part, which is basically what I'm outlining here. We have top navigation bar and we have left navigation bar. The configurable, you can switch top if you want, but this is the front. On the left, we have language links. So the main page exists in those different languages and have it shortened. So in order to get the complete list, you have to do another click because it's simply so. And uh, between Wikipedia and all the sister products on the bottom of the page. And you can help. Uh, from the main page, you have, if you're logged in, you have personalized navigation bars, and if you're not logged in, you have something uh, that is basically IP that you're trying to access with Wikipedia. The, uh, the page is then structured in the different yeah. topics. Each article uh, that is chosen by the community into certain quality. Say, get Daniel, I'm, I don't want to interrupt, but, but your voice is kind of cracking up funny. Um, Okay, and I'm not I'm not sure the solution to that, um, but uh, maybe speak slower because uh, it seems like it's partly a delay problem. Yeah, I'll try to speak slower, and whenever there is a problem of this kind, just interrupt me, and uh, I'll restart. It. That, that, that was better already. So, okay. so um, what the different sections of the featured article there is in the news. Whenever there is something happening in the news, like today. We have uh, that there was uh, a massacre, uh, so we a link to the articles uh, describing that massacre, and then we have "Did you know?" is about new content uh, from different sections of media. So, did you know that the female state proposed making blah blah and so on? So, we're usually with a wiki, and on this day on July 14th, it's a day in France. Uh, uh, and other things happened in other years. Uh, uh, this is the kind of uh, thing that we have in terms of us at the bottom, something like a today's feature. Uh, feature, feature. And then uh, these things are linked. And so uh, you can then uh, go on the top, we all here have portals. So the, this is the portal science. Um, I won't uh, do that. Um, but this is just to show that the information is uh, um, Once we have that, I'll go more or less straight to the uh, project that is most uh, relevant to our talk, that is Wikiproject Fungi. Uh, so you just type in WP for Wikipedia and then Fungi, and it will lead you to a page of the Wikiproject Fungi. And this is concerned with um, kind of structuring the information that is available about fungi in the English Wikipedia. Um, here you, you see it's quite a, an extensive page, quite a large page. Um, and it also exists in other languages, so you have Italian version, Finnish, French, German. And uh, yeah, so the Project has a certain scope. Uh, it uh, cooperates with certain uh, projects. It has functions, has goals, struct, uses some technical structure, and one of the things this does is actually assess the quality of um, article in the area of uh, fungi or mycology, and a certain scheme uh, that they use in order to um, assess. This. Um, is a table, a spot generated on the basis of templates that have been pasted or that have been placed on certain wiki pages. Every article um, on Wikipedia or basically any page, not just article, uh, like any, any page of my talk actually, also has a talk page, which means that you can discuss things that uh, should not be discussed within the article, like um, um, I'm using an old reference and I should use another one, something like this. These kinds of comments, they can be uh, put onto a talk page. I'll just uh, show it for my... Here is 
my fault. There is actually here a red uh, drop page because nobody has used it. Red always indicates that nobody has uh, started that page yet. But since we're on my talk, you could, in principle, go to the Q and A page if you had internet access, or since we have a voice connection, you can just ask uh, Tom to ask me, or you can come to the microphone. Uh, but if you don't have those uh, possibilities, normally on Wiki we just uh, interact using the Wiki, so there is no voice, and that's why we use the talk page. And uh, there are several other things as well. So if I just click on uh, a random uh, aspect of this uh, table, then I will be led to a, a tool that gives me a list of all the articles that are considered stuck within the focus of the wiki project. I can click on one of them and uh, then we will understand what the stub actually is. The stub means that it is very short description of the, uh, the topic. It may have, and it typically, typically has uh, for anything mycological, it, it has a, a taxa box here in which a very rough uh, classification is given in a standardized manner. And on the order of a few references, maybe an image, that's it. And below there's a template informing everyone that this is just a stub uh, and uh, if you want you can help expanding it. On the talk page of that article, uh, you then have another template that has been placed which basically says, okay, this is a stub and it has a low overall importance for the, uh, the wiki project. And there is a bot that spiders all those talk pages and uh, then generates that table here automatically. So um, w when people find out, oh, and someone has started a new article about uh, fungus, uh, then some, not necessarily the one who created the article, uh, someone will place uh, that notice on the talk page that it belongs to the, or that it is of interest to Wikiproject Fungi. And then what will update uh, that um, page here, that table. So, um, at the, currently we have 9,325 pages within the focus of the project, and they have been uh, labeled this way. The two parameters or two dimensions along uh, which they are labeled are importance and quality. And uh, if you click on any of those uh, things here, so you have the, the quality uh, scale that ranges from basically a stub to a featured article. And there are two categories that don't really apply, like a list is just a list, in, uh, but although there is featured lists, but this is not um, contained in this table, and there are certain pages for which the assessment is not uh, applicable, like this very wiki page on which we are right now, because this is a page of the wiki project, uh, and it shows the table, but it's not a page about a fungus or any, anything relevant to um, mycology in an encyclopedic sense. And the importance scale from top to uh, low. And then uh, sometimes people just place uh, the template saying, oh, this is within the scope of Wiki Project Fungi. But they don't know or don't have the time to actually check what the importance or quality um, uh, would be article that they're assessing. And then either they come back later or someone else does it for them. And uh, the criteria are outlined and, and, and linked from what I'm going to show you here. Well, they, they should be linked. Uh, there. <laughs> uh, there is a. Oh, okay. They should be linked from here. The quality scale. The net is loading slowly. But, yeah, we're getting there. So, um, there's actually a, a whole lot of criteria that uh, describe what actually a uh, C or B or A level or good article or featured article level is. Um, and you have some examples here. We won't go into detail. I just want to tell you that there is this kind of criteria. And they're uh, applied very homogeneously within uh, a given wiki project. We have on the whole of Wikipedia on the order of 2,000 wiki projects that deal with different things. So there is something like wiki project Oregon, there is uh, something like wiki project military history, and there is wiki project uh, medicine and wiki project fungi. All these kinds of different wiki projects deal with different aspects of uh, the encyclopedia, 
And any given article might be in the scope of any number of wiki projects, which uh, at some may also create uh, problems because if a fungus was used to kind of uh, kill a, an emperor, it may well be within the focus of wiki project history who have their own guidelines for um, writing articles. And then uh, the content and structure and the formatting of the article would have to be negotiated between all the wiki projects that uh, have the article within their scope at least uh, between the active editors um, amongst those wiki projects. Okay, going back to the tool. Um, a bit of the feedback that I got is uh, now incorporated in a number of statements. Like, um, a key issue for the flora that you're planning is how to ensure that claims and articles are based on the most appropriate and reliable topical sources. And an observation by one of you was the most important references in terms of date, content, method, etc. get only as many references as do less important to, and even unimportant or forgettable secondary or tertiary sources. Yes, um, this is a problem. This is a known problem. Uh, this right requires actually access to the sources and basically access to all the sources in the field in order to judge their relative merit. And it requires an understanding of the relative sources and of the recent developments in the field. This is not necessarily a given for people who edit Wikipedia. And so guidance from a society like you would really be important. And we can discuss then later on how this can be worked out. Uh, in addition to that, Wikipedia strongly prefers secondary sources um, because it has a policy of uh, neutral point of view. and. Um, any primary source is kind of considered not to have a neutral point of view. This means some sort of bias is uh, available in any primary source. This is not to say that there is no bias in secondary sources, um, but uh, still there is a preference. There is a slight exemption of scientific articles from this because uh, everybody who uh, deals with science understands that if uh, some research is rather new, you won't find references in, in the mass media yet. Typically, most of the secondary sources used in media are somewhere in the mass media. And so it's kind of accepted to have uh, primary resources nonetheless. But still, the official policy is not to use primary resources to support any claim. And uh, this has to be kept in mind when we are talking about Then, um, should macro and micromorphology and phylogeny and keys all be included? Uh, from the perspective of, um, well, mycologists, all this is relevant information, but the question is, does it all fit into Wikipedia or into the flora that you're planning? So, um, to put this into perspective, neither Wikipedia nor Wikispecies, which only deals with biological species, neither of them allow keys to be posted there because it's considered original research, and original research should not go onto Wikipedia or Wikispecies, precisely because the, of this neutral point of view. The definition of original research is basically anything for which you cannot find a source other than you, hmm. um, an online source, basically, um, because um, very few editors have access to print it, so in practice it turns out to be an online source. Uh, then uh, we have other projects like Wikisource, which in principle allows uh, original research to be posted. Also, Wikiversity allows it. And there are other wikis like Species ID that some of you may know, um, and on which I'm an admin as well. Uh, so there are other wikis which allow to do that. There is uh, a wiki called Scholopedia, which basically covers only topics um, that have been receiving a Nobel Prize or uh, that are named after someone. Uh, so a very um, poor selection of, uh, of articles. And uh, the, the people only write articles of invitation. So it's a completely different um, editorial approach to Wikipedia. But still, it's all implemented on a wiki. It is updated in a collaborative manner. Once the article is written about a topic, um, anyone who is registered on the site can suggest changes to the article, but they have to be approved by a curator, which might be an interesting model for you. 
Then there is Citizendium, which is kind of a copy uh, or uh, in a kind of a fork of uh, Wikipedia, but it uh, obliges users to use the real thing. And it has a special uh, role for people who have some expertise in, in a certain area. Anyway, they cover a, a very little um, mycological information. Scholopedia basically has none. Then, phylogeny is, as you know better than I, often being revised these days, and so it may not be suitable for systematic inclusion in an encyclopedia, and certainly not across all taxa. Um, micromorphology is currently sparsely covered on Wikipedia. Macromorphology is covered better, but still it uh, has certain biases uh, according to basically coverage in the mass media and in pop culture. Then another important aspect um, that has to do with the quality of uh, articles is whether there are any databases that could be queried systematically in order to provide uh, authoritative data on things like spore size or, or anything uh, like that. Um, there is an example that um, your colleague uh, sent me, and uh, so much of this is generated on a more or less automatic uh, basis, so you could uh, also include images uh, and data, like the stem is 61 by, no, 61 to 100 by 7.5 to 18 millimeter and so on, this kind of data. Um, if it is available from a certain databases, we could also include it um, on an automatic basis. And there is actually uh, now a project going on that tries to semantify Wikipedia in the sense that uh, all the information contained in those info boxes, um, I'm not sure whether I've shown you an info box, so let's just go back to Wikiproject from there. Um, Sorry for that. Here we go. The project Sunday. Here, featured articles. Any featured article should have a contextual box. Let's just take this one here. Any article has uh, certain elements um, in it that is a lead section which is meant to be understandable by someone who has never heard of the subject. Um, it also has a taxa box um, and the this box can contain other information like now it does contain synonyms uh, and links to the people who have first described it. It could contain in principle things like spore size and uh, but, uh, whatever there is as long as there uh, reliable data available on a regular basis for many uh, articles uh, within the scope of the project. And many other uh, wiki projects make active use of that. So, for instance, Wiki Project Medicine has systematic links to PubMed, PubMed Central, uh, in terms of the, uh, the terms or certain identifiers for diseases and so on. If something like this exists, um, then we can systematically link to it. And Wiki Data tries to, um, yeah to take the information not from the info boxes into a database, but the other way around. It tries to be a central database of information for anything relevant for any Wikipedia article, and then it can be pulled from Wikipedia article in any language automatically from there. So if, for instance, someone dies and we have articles in 200 languages about that person, uh, the current state is that all those 200 articles have to be edited separately. Uh, once Wikidata is working, we would just update the Wikidata entry and then it, it would be pulled, the, you know, the date would be pulled automatically into all those languages which have Wikidata enabled. And then another um, question is how to handle non scientific aspects of articles on mycological topics. I already mentioned the murderers of emperors or the use of hallucinogens. And there are several. Uh, possibilities to handle that. So one is to just have a certain section of an article dedicated to that topic, which is especially um, okay if this is very a very minor aspect. But uh, if uh, this is a relatively um, important aspect of that uh, particular species, then it may also be mentioned in the lead. And uh, 
if it's even more important, it may get uh, its own sub-article. Like you could have an article of uh, use of Amanita Magniradix uh, for the murder of emperors, if there is enough material about that. Okay, so um, then now maybe let's have a look at uh, conflict re resolution. There we have another acronym. Wikipedia has heavy acronyms, but the good thing is most of the time they're linked. So uh, you can just click on them, and then there will be a page explaining a bit about that. So kind of the highest court of uh, Wikipedia is the arbitration committee. But it's just a, an element of what we call the arbitration process, which is a quite an elaborate thing. So in principle, if conflicts arise, uh, they may be uh, of certain different names. They may be over the content of article, or they may be about the behavior of people who have uh, contributed to articles or who have otherwise uh, participated in the project. And there are certain rules, so if you continue to spam um, pages, then it's easy to block you, but um, I think these are not of interest to, to our project. Most interesting are, are those where we have real conflicts about how to structure or what to include or which resource um, to use. And the first uh, line of arbitration is always try to find just another editor or someone uh, uh, working on similar articles and get a third opinion if, if two people can't come to a uh, conclusion. This works in almost all of the cases. So um, having just a third or a fourth opinion or, uh, is um, something that is very effective. And we have a for more formal way of inviting others, that is an official request for comments. So you can go to basically any page and use a formalized uh, system of notification that will then trigger a bot that will then post uh, a message on the talk pages of everyone who has subscribed to such requests for uh, comments. And then um, people are invited to address the specific question that is posed in this request for comments. And um, yeah. There is usually a time limit uh, to it or a certain goal uh, of the discussion and once the time limit or the goal of the discussion has been reached, uh, then the discussion is closed and some decision is being made, typically not by the people who started the process but by someone who is less involved. Um, yeah, and then uh, this decision is binding at least for a certain time. It's almost always possible to uh, restart any discussion that has been had but um, there has to be a reasonable uh, well, period um, between the two uh, times, because otherwise we would spend all our time discussing things. Um, yeah, and so that's, this is the, the basic way in which arbitration works, and only if all these, uh, let's say, lower level um, means of arbitration do not work well, only then it gets the Central Arbitration Committee. Some wiki projects also um, have arbitration committee-like structures, that, that is, if the project is very active and it has many participants, then it is very likely that they have certain uh, procedures in place uh, to handle conflicts or have certain policies that simply uh, state certain considerations, uh, how to form it or which kind of resources to use in a, in a more abstract uh, manner for all articles within the scope of the project. And uh, as long as an article is only within the scope, the pro within the scope of one, wiki project, then uh, these guidelines apply automatically. Problems in when an article is with the scope of several wiki projects. So Daniel, I just wanted to give you like a two minute warning here on timing. Okay, well, I'm basically done. The, the arbitration is the last uh, item on, on my list for the talk. I have a number of uh, other uh, topics that I could inject into the discussion. For instance, the observation that for specific scientific communities, um, it may make sense that uh, what well, the collaborative updating of knowledge is done in a separate wiki. So, for instance, there's the NMR wiki for nuclear magnetic resonance. That's the field that I did my PhD in, and uh, they have certain features on their wiki that simply don't exist on Wikipedia. But they make the life of those who write about the topic much easier. So, if there are such features, uh, could be the identification keys actually. Um, once, uh, if, if they were to be uh, part of the whole thing. 
if it's hard to include some essential information in a useful manner into uh, Wikipedia, then it's worth considering other wikis. Uh, otherwise, I have basically said what I wanted to say. So I'm now uh, you have some some questions. I will be available electronically. Uh, yeah, so I, I would like to open the discussion. Okay, thank thanks for your presentation. If um You, you want to switch back to your um, your video f off your desktop and back to your video feed, um, and I'll open the floor for a couple minutes of questions here before we break. Okay. I actually think it's useful to have not my video but still my screen because then I can show things. Uh, I think you've seen me up a wave to, to all of them. <laughs> See, that's useful. <laughs> uh, Somehow you're really small on this screen. I'm not sure what's. What? I lost you. You still there? Just switch back to the to the screen. Uh, to oh, okay. Oh, I see. Kind of. So, any questions from the audience here? I can relay them if you can't. If you're not uh, connected with the. Oh, the uh, question was to show a history page for one of the editings. Okay. Uh, let's take uh, the most recent featured article. It's called Meristoma. It was written by Robert Sissata, from whom I read it to you. And every page has on the top of it a view history tab on it. And then the loads. And so you see, on June 20th, someone has an uh, and Two versions, like the last and the pen. I just click on compare selected versions, but or I could chain, uh, choose another one. So I'll just randomly choose this one, and then I see all the ch uh, changes that have been made between these two um, versions of the page. And oh, yeah, like here you see, lots of tags and references have been added. And another reference has been added. Yet another reference was yeah. So this edit or this series of edits was heavy in adding references, which is normal uh, when an article is about to receive featured article status, because then uh, people just run around filling all the remaining requirements to meet the uh, featured article um, criteria. And one of them is really to have a reliable sources supporting any of these statements made within the article. And so, um, yeah, this was basically what they have done before the article became featured. Okay. Other questions? Right. Yeah, I, you probably couldn't hear that, but um, the comment was that, it, you know, after your talk, it seems like Wikipedia is probably not exactly what we're looking for, partly because uh, uh, a lot of what we're putting up is sort of primary research as opposed to, um, uh, you know, secondary uh, referenced re research. And so, you know, the wiki interface might be useful, but Wikipedia itself uh, would be something we might link to or, or connect in some other way. Yeah, uh, well, I, I wouldn't uh, make the decision uh, on my own. I have heard too little about the project that you actually planned. Sure. I wouldn't decide it uh, just now, but uh, I just want to make you aware that there are certain policies and aspects of media that may stand in the way of the use that, uh, of, of what I have understand. And I, I think the, the wiki, the species, he actually comes very close to what you I'm, I haven't showed it yet. Uh, it's species ID net. And uh, what, it, what this does is basically um, have a page for any given species that has been covered on it, and it allows uh, the posting of um, search. And uh, it 
has specific infrastructure to, for instance, cover identification keys, which are really crucial. I'm just clicking on one of the most recently started pages. By the way, this wiki collaborates with uh, kinds of publishers, so uh, with zoo keys, fighter keys, and micro keys. Anything, any attacks that are described in these journals are automatically uploaded to that uh, wiki. And um, yeah, so if there is a new species or a uh, new taxon, all the, the um, well, there is no key in this one, but in principle, the key would go onto that page and there is no problem uh, editorial wise. And uh, in terms of uh, suitability of Wikipedia, um, from our perspective, it is also interesting to have a systematic link. Whenever there is a resource on, let's say, Mario Stoma and, uh, that is very valuable and contains a lot of information, that is for some reason not compliant with our policies, it's uh, still perfectly okay, okay to have a systematic linking. That's what we do with the National Library of Medicine and with many other resources. Okay. Well, <clears throat> oh, one last question. <laughs> The, the question is, when someone makes an edit, uh, is it transparent who did it? And can you, um, you know, contact them directly? Yeah, I heard it. Um, let's just take the uh, difference that I had open here. So we have one edit that, or the last version, by a user named Cirque here, another one by M Gigantius one So you see, it's not necessarily, it's not necessarily the real names of the people, but all of them have a user page. Well, not all of them. You can in principle edit Wikipedia pages anonymously. Um, so then the edit would have been made by uh, an IP, basically. And uh, the user decides whether on their user page they reveal some information about them. So here, this user M Giganteos has a user page uh, that click to about me. And if we're lucky, we find something out about him. And the user Circus that made the other one. Uh, has just a to-do list. Doesn't tell him anything about himself other than he is a native of uh, a native speaker of French and he knows a few other languages. So uh, yeah, and this user M Giganteos also doesn't really give his real life uh, identity, although he has a committed identity. So if you think you know, yes, you can generate uh, SH a one tag and check what, uh, it against the sum to, to see whether that's really him. So, yeah, uh, it's very different from the normal scholarly resource where you always have the real name and uh, you, you know who the people are. Okay. Well, thanks again. And um, I'll probably be in touch for, uh, you know, if we don't, <clears throat> if we want more information on these links and stuff that you showed us. I, I take it this is all up uh, at that. Wikipedia, yes. Okay, so so it'll it'll be tra transparent to us. Thanks very much. Yeah. Uh